BMW uses the acronym HP, which stands for high performance, on their sport and superbikes like the HP2 and HP4, which we've reviewed in previous episodes. So why would they use the HP acronym on an adventure bike like the GS? Let's start this GS story right at the beginning, and it starts with a designer Hans Muth, which is very famous for his 1981 Suzuki Katana design. It starts with bad weather and a Range Rover. Now, back in 1969, Hans Muth was working for Ford in Germany in the Rhinelands, and he was not happy with the weather, and he's quite miserable. And some of his friends were working in Bavaria for BMW. Now, in the mid 70s, he made the move, moved over to Bavaria and started working for BMW and was appointed as the head of interior design for the automotive section. He bought himself a Range Rover to uh, cope with the rugged terrain of Bavaria and one day he walked down to the Motorrad division and insulted them saying that they design ugly and uh, non-performing motorcycles. Instead of getting upset, Motorrad offered him a job. Now, Hans Mood, being a keen motorcyclist, accepted this challenge and his first design was the BMW R90S, which is also acknowledged to be BMW's first uh, sports bike, as well as the bike that helped them survive during those troubled times. Now, one day he was sitting in his office and he looked out the window and he saw his Range Rover and that's when the thought came to him and thought, you know what, this is what BMW needs to add to the range to help them survive and the future of motorcycling. So he also knew that the uh, management would not approve that because the automotive division was all about speed and performance. So an all-terrain off-road bike would not be in their makeup. But in secret, he started designing something like that because he knew his testing team were passionate and enthusiastic adventure riders as well as some of them being competitive motocross riders so they would be behind the project and without much funding they put together the prototype gs which hans Muth wanted to call the gentleman scrambler out of parts of existing motorcycles now um, they did not have the green lights by management at that point in time but they continued developing it in-house and hans left early on before the project was finished and then the test team continued with it and had some success at the six-day event which in the motorsport side of things having success that immediately got the management's attention and the project got green light and within under 21 months from a prototype bike they got to present it to the public and that was the original r80 gs now back to why it's so apt to have the HP high performance logo in a GS. Its life actually started because of a success on a six day event and very quickly from 1980 launching the GS in 1981, they already won the first Paris Dakar, winning it um, in 83, 84 and 85 again. So within five years, four Paris Dakar wins on a GS. And that is why the HP acronym is not out of place on AGS. So from that early thought and one look at a Range Rover, the idea of an all-terrain motorcycle which evolved into an idea for a gentleman scrambler and its final incarnation as GS in German known for Geländesport or Geländestraße, English off-road sport or off-road street. This GS can now be attributed for saving BMW Motorrad, as in 1979 they wanted to close Motorrad as it wasn't making any money. The GS can also be attributed indirectly starting a complete new segment in motorcycling as the adventure off-road motorcycle segment. And this GS story is now 40 years in the making. And in another later episode from now, we will share with you how BMW is celebrating their 40th anniversary with their bikes and their colors known as the Bumblebee color and where this iconic color comes from. But before we end there and have a look at the bike in more detail, we want to give a big thank you and thumbs up to BMW Motorrad Four Ways. We asked them to please find us at 1250 Adventure HP in these colors. This, these colors were only made in 2019 and 2020. 
in my opinion, one of the prettiest colors. Most press photos have the rims as gold, which I also prefer this being the option of the black rims. And the reason we wanted to also do this episode and, and show off these colors, because this is exactly our corporate color scheme as Route 21. And uh, we're leaning and thinking towards adding one of these as it is before us here with gold rims into the Route 21 fleet to do our future adventure tours on and do the filming and uh, bringing you great content off a bike like this. Please uh, let us know in the comments what do you think and what your ideas are on adding this to the fleet. Right, let's get back to the bike in front of us here and more about the bike. The era of the air-cooled boxer motor ended in 2013 when it became the still true boxer motor but water-cooled. And by 2018, 2019, with pressure from the opposition adventure bikes being the Triumph Tiger, the Ducati Multistrada, as well as the KTM adventure bike, BMW was forced to up their game when it came to performance of the engine. So they were true to the, the, the GS concept and not just focus on horsepower and enter that horsepower race. They developed a motor up the CC by 50 CC, being a 1250 now but um, it's actually a 1254cc and they focused more on torque. So they increased the, the horsepower by 7% up to 136 horsepower, but the torque increased by a mass of 14% up to 143 Newton meters. And I mean, that is what you're looking for when adventure riding is a nice torque curve. And that torque is available from 1000 RPMs less than the predecessor model and the horsepower increase of 7% is right through the rev range. Now, how they manage that is increasing bore and stroke on this motor and the secret weapon in this motor is in the heads. It's a shift cam head. It's not variable cam timing, but shift cam, which means it has two cam lobes on the intake and it detects it by your throttle response, partial throttle or full throttle, and it moves it along choosing the correct cam for that. Right. Then you still have your traditional wet clutch, your six-speed gearbox, and it is shaft drive, which for an adventure bike, in my opinion, is still the best. When you get to your destination, having done a lot of gravel roads, you don't have to get on your hands and knees and clean chains and do maintenance. And uh, further than that, your suspension front being the traditional BMW telelever with 210 mil travel, your rear suspension to 20 millimeter travel, now the seat height can be varied from 890 millimeters to 820 millimeters, which is really cool for those with shorter legs. The um, back wheel is a 17 inch, 170 wide. The front is a 19 inch with a 120 wide. Now, other than that, the bike is specced with all your rider aids from heel climb assist, your uh, quick shifters, um, as, the list just goes on and on. So when you're in the market for one of these, make sure you've got some time, sit down with your BMW sales representative and go through each line carefully and uh, just make it work for you, spec your own bike. Also your, your cockpit up front, you've got a massive TFT display, full color, fully integratable with your smartphone where you can see your music, your phone, whatever. You've got your add-on navigation and all of this is easily controllable through this control here up on the left in the cockpit. Your tamp capacity is a massive 30 liters, puts the bike's wet weight at about 268 kilograms, the dry weight around about the 230 kilograms. Well, that's this BMW GS1250 Adventure HP in a nutshell. And please remember to click like, subscribe, leave us some comments and join us for more adventures on Route 21.